I received a question about the Nvidia Shield that maybe we glossed over. The Nvidia Shield, I used to do uh, breakdown videos. I used to do certain setups. Fortunately for the terms and conditions for YouTube, a lot of that has changed, but sometimes I get questions, people that are new to the Nvidia Shield and um, decided to pick one today just to do a quick follow up on. So uh, a couple days ago, I released a video showing you guys that I did upgrade to the newest Nvidia Shield. I believe the version was 9.1.1. And one of the things that I glossed over is that when I go into my settings, I do have these quick launch buttons here. And in the video, I did say uh, I got this set up, but if you don't have it set up, you'll have to go another route to get to your update you can see I have check updates right here so question came in in the comment section how do you get those quick launch settings and this is what we're gonna do today so let's go ahead and jump into it all right so this is gonna be pretty straightforward to enable those buttons you're gonna go to your settings you're gonna go down to device preference then go to system and now you're gonna see customize quick settings you're gonna click on that and basically you see all the options that are available for you guys you can see you can have the night listening mode turned on and for the night listening mode uh, this is a setting that probably not a lot of people know about so what this does it basically uh, just help you be a less annoying family member in your household so it automatically levels both the loud explosions and quiet dialogue to deliver a consistent listening experience even if the volume set to low so basically just kind of equalizes everything that way you don't have those high highs or those low lows we also have match content audio resolution and um definitely in my opinion it's worth turning on and this is one that i probably just glossed over but uh what this does it just fixes those incorrect sample music rates so you're going to get a better sound and just make sure that kind of match what your video is outputting you have your audio output we'll turn that on we'll play with that later uh, match frame rate and that's in beta and it's going to kind of do a similar thing what the audio does but it's going to be on the video side you also have a quick disconnect for your bluetooth you also have the option to restart wi-fi send feedback don't need it on you do have a keyboard you have a quick launch for your ethernet which i have on uh, sometimes when i'm doing my testing i'll toggle this on and off just uh, saving some steps going deep into the settings uh, shield accessories uh, probably don't need that on but I'll, I'll play with it check for update which is the one that kind of poses that question the power off option reboot as well as your sleep now so let's see what those kind of look like so sleep now reboot power off pretty self-explanatory uh, check for upgrade is gonna do just that should be up to date you have your shield accessory if you click on that you should see everything that's connected so pretty much your Bluetooth setting so you can um, pair an accessory if you if you have a new device that you want to connect to NVIDIA Shield. There's Ethernet. I am connected via Ethernet right now. Disconnect Bluetooth. Audio output. Let's click on that. Right now it's set to auto but I don't have anything else really connected to test it with. Uh, below that you have the match frame rate. Maybe you're streaming a video that doesn't match your display refresh rate. Look like the video will attempt to at least um, refresh this and just to make a match. So that should overall make for a smoother experience. And then we have the match um, content. So hopefully that answered that question. Like I said, uh, this might be repetitive for some of you seasoned folks out there that's been um, tinkering with NVIDIA Shield for years. But for someone who just bought one or recently got into it, uh, this might have helped them a lot. Of course, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Thank you for watching again, and I'll catch you on the next one.